Now, Russia's war in Ukraine has thrown a massive spanner in the works for the movement of goods around the world. From bombarded ports to closed airspace, the hurdles facing logistics companies are significant. But one route, it seems, is too big to fail, the rail route connecting Europe and China. At the moment, cargo ships are having to make long detours. Russian ports are being shunned, as are Russian airports. Western cargo planes are having to cover much longer stretches to avoid Russian airspace. Here, things can still be transported directly. The Silk Road is still in operation. The route between Europe's biggest inland port in Duisburg and China's economic centers is part of China's Belt and Road Initiative, the new Silk Road. Its 11,000-kilometer rail route carries some 200,000 containers annually and partially crosses through Russian territory. For China and the EU, it's an important project and for that reason has been largely spared from sanctions. Russian railroads have been put under sanctions to the extent that no one in Europe can buy or trade Russian state-owned rail bonds. But using Russian rail or fulfilling existing transport contracts is not prohibited or under sanctions. The EU Commission has made it clear that the land route between China and Europe is also in the European interest. Of course, that could change at any time. Here, everything has already changed. The Ukrainian port of Mariupol has been completely destroyed. Before the war, it was an important export hub. Ukraine originally had three big ports. The Crimean city of Sevastopol was annexed in 2014 by Russia. Mariupol has been devastated in the latest invasion. And Odessa is under Russian bombardment. The ports are vital for transporting grain, before the invasion, Ukraine supplied food for 400 million people, 10 times the number of its own population. Production has dropped because of the war. And exporting grain has become more difficult. What was once transported by ship now has to be moved by rail. The problem there, obviously, is finding enough boxcars or uh, grain uh, haulage, uh, bulk uh, haulage capability to take the, the volumes that used to go out uh, by ship. Uh, the cost um, at least double. Whether in the cargo shipping, air or train sectors, the war is presenting logistics companies with challenges. Ultimately, it's consumers worldwide who will pay.